day I graduated college in 2005, I decided to start a rental company. It took a few years until it became successful enough to be my full-time job, but now it's all I do. My hope is to help you by sharing my knowledge. So I've been meaning to make this video for a little while. Um, I've been sick, so I haven't. But uh, this is all about why I hate winter tents. I don't do them. I've done them a few times, and every time it sucks, and we just don't do it anymore. Now, my friend Les from the channel Gorth Balian, um, he, he does them sometimes. He's up in Canada. He's got, you know, a shorter season than I have. Not by much. But uh, he's done two tents this past winter, and it's worked out okay for him. For me, let me give you the main reasons that I hate doing tents in the winter. Number one is morale, and number two is damage. Morale, I hate doing it. All my employees hate doing it. Everyone hates doing it. It takes forever. It is hard. You're cold. It just sucks. No one likes doing it, and everyone's in a bad mood, especially me. I'm in a bad mood because it sucks, but I'm also in a bad mood because of all the other things that go along with it. And then the next one is damage. Like, you can set up a 20 by 40 frame tent uh, in the summer a hundred times and maybe something's only going to get damaged once. More than likely, if you set it up in the winter, something's going to get damaged. I mean, you know, it might not, but it's a much larger risk. Now, the damage that can occur is a lot of these tents are not made to handle a snow load so they can collapse easy um, things can rip and then because it's so cold vinyl once it drops below zero it gets really brittle and can can crack and there's not much you can do about a crack you can you can patch up a little you know hole or tear but if there's just cracks all over the vinyl because of uh, being cold it just looks bad and there's not much you can do. You can't put like a five foot long strip of uh, a vinyl on there. Uh, you're gonna see that it's not gonna look good. And um, the clear, clear vinyl, if you're doing sides on the tent and doing clear, the clear cracks really easy. I've lost, every time we've done a tent, I've done a tent three times in the winter, every single time there's been sides that got damaged where the, where the window just cracks. And it's basically useless at that point. You can get some clear tape, but you can obviously see the clear tape on there when you go to set it back up in the summer. So uh, it gets damaged very, very easy because of the cold. The vinyl's not made to, to be out in the cold like that. Now, I do understand that there are really large companies who have people on payroll and they've got fixed costs every single month. So some of these companies they make about 20% of their yearly money in winter tents. And it's something they have to do. They've got fixed costs, they got bills and things to pay, so they have to do it. But they're more equipped to do it. They, they're experienced with it. They're willing to take the risk and they charge a lot more. Like when I do a winter tent, I charge close to double when I used to do a winter tent because I don't anymore. But I would charge close to double for the same tent. And even then, I feel like it's not worth it. I feel I should be charging close to triple. Um, now, I don't care how nice of a day it is when your, that tank comes down or if it didn't snow, no snow got on it or anything. When that tank comes down, it's getting wet. It's already, got, it's already wet a little bit. So you're gonna have to hang it or have space to keep it laid out to dry. And a lot of places, you know, you just don't have that. You don't have a lot of space to hang a tent or, or lay it out to dry. I mean, I do, but my space isn't heated. So the tent's still gonna stay cold and it's not gonna dry. So I'm just not a fan of winter tents. They're very difficult, it's low morale, and most of the time stuff gets damaged. And it just, it just sucks. So let me tell you the horror story that I had. Um, well, before I do that, also people's expectations of what the tent is going to be, it's going to be warm, and it's going to be great, that's not a reasonable expectation. All these customers think you're going to put a tent up on their back patio connected to, to their living room and put a few heaters in there and it's going to be 80 degrees in there and everyone's going to be comfortable and it's going to be great. It's not. It's just fabric. And the sides, you know, they move a little, cold air gets in. You know, it, it helps a little bit, it protects a little bit, 
if this was for a construction thing in the winter, the guys understand they're just keeping stuff, you know, out of the elements. Um, maybe having somewhere to eat lunch real quick or whatever. Those kind of people understand. But a private customer trying to get more room for their party at their house, they think it's going to be a magical room and it's going to be really, really warm in there. And it's just not because it's fabric. It's not a real building. So no matter how many times I tell customers, like it's not going to get that much warmer in there. It's not going to be uh, what you're thinking. And they still want the tent and they get mad at me at the end when it wasn't 80 degrees in there. So on to my horror story. The richest people in my area, they literally are the richest people. Um, they were, Their daughter or their son and their future daughter-in-law were getting married at their huge giant mansion. And they wanted a 20 by 30 frame tent on their back patio off of their back door where their indoor pool was. And uh, they thought it was going to be really, 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 really warm in there. And it was going to be an extension. And a lot of people would be able to hang out in there. And this was on Valentine's Day a few years ago. Now, the previous Valentine's Day was pretty warm out. There was no snowing happen, happening. It was, it was great. So a tent out during then with two heaters in it would have been semi-comfortable. But this particular Valentine's Day was the coldest Valentine's Day we've ever had on record. It was negative, I think it was like close to negative 30. So the tent did nothing. It had two heaters in there, running all night long, but there's nothing you can do. It's just fabric. So what they did was they took a snow plow and plowed the tent. They buried the tent, basically. The tent was eight foot tall. They had snow banks all the way up to about seven, seven feet tall. And then they took a snowblower and buried the tent. So the tent had tons and tons and tons of weight on it because it melted from the heat and then turned to ice. And all my sidewalls were pushed in. Every single window was cracked. The entire tent was damaged. The tent was just a garbage afterwards. 100 feet of sides and an entire tent top torn to shreds um, from weight and ice and cold. And they thought that was acceptable because they're rich people and everyone wants their money so i tried sending them a bill for 900 bucks to replace the things that were damaged and uh she gets on the phone with me and she goes you have to talk to my daughter-in-law they're the ones who ordered the tent it was just at our house and i was like yeah but you are the ones who buried the tent and snow blowed snow on there and destroyed my stuff and you are the guys who have all the money and you're the ones who did all this. And she just flipped out at me and was like, we're not paying, we're not paying, go get the money from them. And I'd been to their house for the meeting and her daughter-in-law and her son are just regular people. They got a small house, regular jobs. They're not rich like their parents are. And so we came up with a plan. They paid half or whatever. But you know, I looked up the, these people online. I typed in this lady's name and uh, there was website after website after website complaining about these people, how they don't pay contractors, they don't do this, how they're dirt bags or whatever, they're, that they're the richest people in the area, but they don't pay any of their bills and everyone hates them. So anyways, that's my horror story. That was the last time we did a winter tent and everything just got destroyed and damaged and it's just not worth it for me. I do get it. If you've got huge fixed costs, doing tents in the winter is something that can help you out and you can get it down you can get a system down it cannot be that horrible you can bring them back hang them dry them do whatever you need to do and then uh, sometimes if you're just starting out and you need money and you didn't save enough money for the winter doing a winter tank can be a good extra income just make sure you charge appropriately because don't just charge your normal rate because it's going to cost you more than that in labor and in time to do it so charge at least double but I would say charge triple and then uh, you know if your first time doing it you're gonna realize that it kind of sucks I don't do it because it sucks and I've had my experiences with it so I save enough money for the winter that I don't have to take these jobs that I hate and that damage my equipment I save enough money for the whole winter to make it all the way through pay employees pay my bills so i don't have to take these horrible jobs but if you're a huge company and you need to you know 
plenty of people do and it's a good source of income or if you're just starting out and you didn't save enough money you know just make sure you charge enough to replace your tent if it gets damaged because more than likely it will get damaged so those are the reasons why i hate doing winter tents i almost did one the other day but i ended up canceling and she ended up canceling it was a mutual cancellation it was going to be five to nine inches of heavy rain of heavy rain slash snow and 45 mile an hour winds so i canceled uh i should have never even said yeah these tents are just getting thrown out at the end of this winter anyways unless i find someone to buy them and they're just old tent tops so i was gonna do it and get some more money out of it but you know i'm glad that it got canceled by her and me she decided to cancel as well so I, I didn't end up doing a winter tent this past week but uh i'm very very glad that i didn't uh, no one that was going to be working that day was excited about it so that's the story winter tents suck you know try not to do it thanks for watching